Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are looking at number line adding or finding sums with a number line. Let's get to it. We are going to do a little bit of guided practice and we will be adding some positive numbers and adding negative numbers. These are tricky, so careful, pay attention, and we'll get through it. First off, let's talk about adding numbers. I have one, two, three, four, five different questions there with five different answers. And what I'd like you to do is to try matching them up. For example, up in the top left corner there, I have three plus two. I'm gonna tell you something. That one's probably the easiest. Three plus two is five. So that one I could match up to the number five on this number line. Each of these five addition questions has an answer on the number line. So try that out and then come back and watch the solutions. Hey, welcome back. As I said, three plus two would be starting at three and adding two, which would bring us up to five. Three plus two is five. Nice. All right, let's do another one. Negative three plus negative two. That means we're starting at negative three and we're adding a negative two onto it or going two more in the negative direction. Negative three plus negative two would bring us down to negative five. There we are, bam. Next, let's look at negative three plus five. We're starting with a negative here, negative three, but we are adding five. That means we're moving to the right five spaces, which brings us up to positive two. That's how adding works. All right, now we have nine plus negative 10. That one's going to be a little bit tougher because nine doesn't exist on this number line. So <laughs> there it is. So let's say I started at nine and I added negative 10, or I started at nine and subtracted 10, moved 10 to the left, I would end up there at negative one. That one was a little tricky because it did start off of the screen. All right, now we're going to do the final question, negative one plus five, it's the only one that's left. We start at negative one, we go forward or to the right five spaces, bringing us to positive four. There we are. And that's how adding on a number line works. Let's do some more with adding on a number line. We have five more questions. We've changed the scale of the number line, but this is an opportunity for us to practice. And then with this one, I have some positives and some negatives. They're being joined together and added. Go ahead and check that out. Three, two, one, go. All righty. Two plus 13. That's starting at about the point two and adding 13, which would bring us up to 15. That's a positive plus a positive. Those ones are pretty straightforward. We get that. All right, now let's move on to our green question. We started at negative five and we added negative 30, meaning that we're going 30 spaces to the left, bringing us down to negative 35. Notice the, what we're doing there. We're actually joining those numbers together and keeping the sign. Keep that in the back of your mind for later. Negative 45 plus 15 plus 15 is shown here you in the blue arrow. We start at negative 45, we add 15, that will bring us up to po um, negative 30. I almost said positive 30, that would have been bad. <laughs> Brings us up to negative 30. We are adding a negative plus a positive, but there's still more negatives, so it's staying on that left side of zero. Let's move on to our purple question. 50 plus negative 40 means we start at 50 and we're going to the left 40 spaces. We have more positives than negatives, so that means we are ending with a positive 10. Our final question, negative 45 plus 75, I kept this arrow fully inside of our um, number line here, and there we go, negative 45 plus 75 gives us a positive 30. 
that is how we add on a number line. Remember, adding is just joining together. So if we're joining together a positive number and a positive number, we're getting an even larger positive. If you're joining a negative and a negative, you get a negative that's farther to the left. When we're joining a positive and a negative, you kind of put them together and see where it lands. If it's more positives, you'll get a positive answer. If it's more negatives, you'll get a negative answer. That's basically how it works. So a couple things to remember, adding is just joining together, adding a positive increases, adding a negative decreases. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.